so then question four um i'm filming my first music video next week a bit nervous should i shout about it or keep it to myself until it's filmed and i'm happy with it and then how should i distribute it across all my socials and that's from sean sure good old sean yeah, we, sean. we love sean sean's amazing sean is just an avid viewer and he gets involved and he engages mm. and Good dude. I will, he yeah, absolutely, I will help Sean every day until the cows come home because <laughs> I value his, I value his engagement across what I do so much. So, uh, yeah, okay, so this is interesting. So the bit I, I noticed about that question, I'm filming my first new, uh, my new first music video next week. Bit nervous, mm. that bit there, bit nervous. Yeah. Should I shout about it? Well, if he didn't say a bit nervous, I would have said, yeah. Yeah. Shout about it, get out there. This is a message we're mm. doing this, but a bit nervous. And I think this is your first one. And so therefore for me, maybe don't. Mm. Because the, the most important thing is that you're comfortable with this and I wouldn't want you to shout about it and then it not going as well as you think. And then you feel like you need to put it out and you're not happy with it. And, and confidence in this game is very, very important. Yeah. And when you start doing videos, I remember it myself. I remember making videos and seeing the first few and I was like, I really want them to be great. I really want yeah. them to be great. Now I'm just like, film me, get the point across, mm. get it out. And, and, and that's more important. The point yeah. is more important. But at the beginning, I was very really much more hard aware. getting like comfortable. With Absolutely. Your and, and it takes yeah. time, you know, yeah. and, and we talk about, you know, this, this as is uh, videos. But if you talk about gigs, you know, everybody watching this that's a musician will remember their first gig and remember the pressure that they put on themselves and how much worry and nerves. And, it, and, and then you've done 10 gigs and you just feel a little bit more calm. You know, lots of people are watching this have done hundreds and hundreds of gigs. Now the idea of going on stage, that doesn't bother them. They love going on stage, but they feel differently to the beginning. And so one thing I would say is you have time just because it's the first music video. It absolutely doesn't mean it's the be all and end all. It just happens to be the first one. And this, this um, pillar of the first means nothing mm -hmm. at all because the fifth one might be the greatest video in the world and might catapult you to being the next Ed Sheeran. But this just happens to be the first. Mm -hmm. So what I would say is don't shout about it yet because of the ner nervous thing unless you want to. I think it's more important that you feel comfortable, you get something that you're really proud of, you put it out and that will make you want to make the second video as quick as possible. So I think that for me is more important that people are comfortable with what they're putting out because mm -hmm. earlier on I talked about, you know, get music out there if you can. Well, yeah. it, that's if you feel comfortable with it. If you don't feel comfortable with it, don't do that. Yeah. You know, and I, I think Something musicians else. struggle a lot with, with um, perfectionism and then confidence issues, confidence issues and you put the two together and that's when people start getting troubles mm -hmm. and worrying and, and anxiety and stuff. So do what you feel comfortable with, but I, I would say for the first one, don't put pressure on yourself or, or excess pressure on yourself just because it's the first yeah. one. Enjoy the process and make sure that you like it enough so that you want to do the second one mm. because the second one will lead to the tenth one and I bet you the tenth one will be amazing. Now, how should you dist distribute it across your socials? I think the main thing with this is it depends on what you're trying to achieve and it depends what the strategy is for the music. Are you promoting an EP? Mm. So if this was Savannah and they've got, they've got a music video, are they trying to promote this EP? Then we're going to the end and we're thinking backwards, in which case, where are we going to put on the socials and what are we trying to do with the socials? But in, in a case of just saying, well, I've got a music video and I want to put it out there. If you just want people to see it and you're just proud of something and you want, you want more people to see you to, to get into your music, then yeah, spread it out. It doesn't make so much difference. You can't put a full music video on Instagram. The main bugbear I have is where musicians just try and take something and cram it across mm. all socials and they go, well, we've got this, so we just have to put it here and here and here and there's no strategy behind yeah. it. It's just... It's an we, easy mistake to make. Yeah, yeah. we can put on YouTube, mm. so why don't we? Well, well you, yeah, but what's the point in doing it? We can put it on Facebook, so obviously you're going to do that. We can put the music on SoundCloud. We can put the music on Spotify. We can then put it on iTunes. And everything is kind of almost going against each other. So there's lots of clashes and there's no real strategy of hang on a minute. And the only way you can have a strategy is just saying, okay, well, well what is it that we are trying to achieve mm -hmm. first with this video? Is it just eyes? If it, in which case, if it's just eyes, my, my opinion is stick it on Facebook, uh, boost it and start telling the world. Just mm -hmm. get out there and actually talk and talk and talk. Um, and then, you know, whether you put it on YouTube, I, I, most bands YouTubes I see are pretty awful, if mm -hmm. I'm fair. I mean, I, I would say 99% of bands YouTubes are 
rubbish. Mm. And it's a shame because I think YouTube is so underutilized. And then when, when bands do come along, and I, you know, I say 99 because I do get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and there's bands watching that take it seriously, but you wouldn't believe how many bands don't. Yeah. So I love it when a band takes their YouTube seriously because yeah. I think it's evergreen content. It's, it's stuff that's gonna be there forever, which isn't on Facebook so much because it just goes down in this sort of, this mire. People can't scroll down for months and months mm. and months. Whereas YouTube, you can just go and search it, find it, pop up. It's a search engine. So, you know, I, I think that the thing for this first is have your strategy. What is it you're trying to achieve with the video? If it's just getting eyes on the video, then yes, yeah, spread it around. But I think it's what you do after that. So once you've put it somewhere, it's what you're going to do next, which is I'm going to tell everybody yeah. and I'm going to make sure everyone knows. About, I'm going to make people go, oh, enough. I, yeah. I know. <laughs> That's the bit that musicians don't like. Yeah. You know, musicians. Yeah, musicians yeah. don't like sales. I did a, weirdly enough, I did, I put the video out yesterday, the third EP about sales. Mm -hmm. And actually Sean said, uh, one of the comments he had was, there's a fine line. I feel a little bit uncomfortable with looking desperate when selling. Mm. And, and I'm like, N -n you can't. Mm. Like, because musicians have this. There's like, I don't want to oversell. It's not about selling, it's about the art. And I'm like, I absolutely get that. But if you want to get somewhere, you've got to push it. Yeah. And so pushing it isn't just saying, I'll just put that there. Yeah. You've got, you've got you, I mean, this is marketing and you know, this is, this is actually mm. spreading a message again and again and again and again. And it might take five, six, seven, eight times for someone to ask me to listen to something before I go, oh, sorry, dude, I, I, I will. It's just I'm busy. We all live busy lives. So, you, you know, you've, you, it's not desperate. It's, it's, it's just saying, I'm not letting you get away with this. Yeah. And it's the way you do it as well. Desperate yeah. is going, oh, please, please, listen to me. please, please, mm -hmm. please. You're like, yeah, that's desperate. Don't do that. Yeah. But going, no, no, yeah, just buy my thing. Yeah. Buy my flipping thing. Mm -hmm. Buy it. That's not desperate. Yeah. That's angry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's somewhat aggressive. <laughs> so, um, you know, so yeah, so I think, I think two things. Number one, need to have the end goal in sight for the strategy. And B is once it's gone live, doesn't matter where you put it at the moment. What's more importantly is what you're going to do to get yeah. to get to that strategy, to get people to watch it, to get people to do I'm the excited. thing that you want to do. Yeah, okay. That's our next question. Good, right, we're running late, so we've got to go. Yeah. So, uh, and if you've got questions, mm. then hashtag AskDemo. Uh, if you've got stuff to send through, the, the address is below, but I want t-shirts, I want, I want CDs, I want stickers, I want anything for the wall. I'll be promoting it, I'll take a picture with, with in fact, we've got two t-shirts, so we'll take yeah. a picture for the Instagram in a bit, uh, and we'll tag uh, Savannah in it, thanks to them. Uh, otherwise, have a good week. See you next week. Yeah.